It's a bold faced question. Step 1 is to identify the conclusion of the argument. It's a very interesting argument here. It takes several turns and it is very important to understand the conclusion correctly. This part is the conclusion. However, this discovery warrants a more circumspect conclusion. This is the conclusion suggesting that this claim here that the traditional opinion is obviously false may not be correct. So, in simple words, the argument is in favor of the traditional opinion. Okay, so the conclusion is that the traditional opinion may be correct or that the modern opinion may not be correct. Step 2 is to link the two bold faces with the conclusion. See, the first bold face here supports something that the argument opposes. Okay, and the second bold face here supports the argument's conclusion. Look at answer choice A here. No, the first bold face is not in support of what the professor is saying. Professor is the author of the argument. You see the argument and the first bold face are opposite to each other. And therefore to say that the first bold face supports anything defended by the professor would not be correct. So answer choice A should be eliminated. A similar problem with answer choice B also here. No, the first bold face does not support the position defended by the professor. Professor and the first bold face are against each other. So answer choice B should also be eliminated. A similar problem with answer choice D also here. The language is a bit more complicated, but it is trying to say that first is supporting something defended by the professor. That is not correct. The first bold face and the author's stand are in contradiction and therefore answer choices A, B and D should be eliminated. Look at answer choice C. It says something is in support of a conclusion criticized by the professor. So something like this makes sense. You see a contrast between the first bold face and the author's stand. So this part is all right. Look at E here. This also says that the first is evidence used in support of a conclusion criticized by the professor. So it supports something that has been criticized by the professor. So you see there is a contradiction between the first bold face and the author's stand. So the roles for the first bold face suggested by choices C and E are correct. Let's look at the second part now. Yes, the second is evidence offered to support author's own position. The position being the conclusion here that the discovery warrants a more circumspect conclusion. So answer choice C is likely correct. Let's see why E is incorrect. The second is further information that corroborates that evidence. Which evidence? Evidence used to support a certain conclusion that has been criticized by the professor. No, that's not correct. You see the second bold face here is in support of the author's point of view. The second bold face here is not in support of the first bold face here. And therefore to say that the second bold face corroborates or supports this evidence the first bold face here would not be correct. Therefore, answer choice E is incorrect. Let's quickly confirm answer choice C here. You see this part is the conclusion and this is in contrast to the first bold face here. The second bold face supports the conclusion. Look at answer choice C. The first is evidence used in support of a conclusion criticized by the professor. So yes, this first bold face supports a certain conclusion. Remember this term, a conclusion is used for an intermediate conclusion. The intermediate conclusion is that the traditional opinion is obviously false. So the first bold face supports an intermediate conclusion and this intermediate conclusion has been criticized by the professor. So a very good job with the first part here. The second is evidence. So yes, the second part here is evidence offered to support the professor's own position. And what is the professor's own position? This conclusion here that this discovery warrants a more circumspect conclusion. A very interesting question. A lot to be learned from this question here. It is very important to understand how the argument unfolded here, what the conclusion is and what is the role played by the two bold-faced portions here. C is the best answer choice.